Hello everybody, MJT360 back at you again with another video. Hello! Um, yeah, here's a quick overview of the Craftsman, the Sears Craftsman 113 Table Saw. This is a 113 Table Saw from Sears Craftsman and Roebuck. Um, as you can see, it's a 10 inch bench saw. Um, yeah, you can see all the things it can do, rip cut, depth, depth of cut, um, bevel cut, miter cut, rip cuts, anything. I've got also some sketchy attachments for it that I can show you in a different video. Um, quick review of the saw. When you can buy this saw, the funny thing is that this stand is uh, different from the saw. Because when you buy the saw, when you used to buy the saw, it only came with this top part. As you can see, there are two pieces. One piece, two piece. One, two. But yeah, um... Yeah, so you would get the top part, and it would come with no motor, and you had to buy a motor separately. But funny thing is, all these saws have that exact same motor, so I don't know if that's really true or not, that it, you had to buy your own motor. But, uh, but that's a one horsepower Craftsman motor for this table saw. I wish it came with the dust collection system, but this is not the 315 model. This is the, this is a newer, this is an older version, the newer version that came out that's a little bit newer than this saw. This saw is about 25, 30 years old. Uh, has dust collection built in. That's why this motor's got dual shafts. You can see the other shaft sticking out right here, right there. See? Yeah, so that's why. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, um, as you can see, I put this piece of cardboard back here on the back of the saw to protect to stop the motor from getting coated in dust get sandblasted in dust which is not good for the motor and then also if you look don't worry saw is unplugged right now so I can do this as you can see the bottom of the saw is not wide open focus bottom of the saw is not wide open because it's got a big dust bag under there it's got the dust stopper Look it up online, up on YouTube. Mikey Makes, I think, has a video on it. Um, but yeah, it's a great little system. It collects all the dust that goes underneath the table. It's amazing. I love it. And then uh, I'm missing the two things that hold the riving knife, that hold the, the scarred in place. It just, it just rattles around like crazy when you run the saw, but uh, yeah. Let me show you what it does. Um, that's the cut I did with it. Wow, that's some really pretty wood. That's the cut I made with it. As you can see, it's pretty decent. And then, there's a different piece of wood. Pretty decent. Not perfect, but good enough for me. But yeah, um, I've got dust collection on this saw now. It works amazing. And then, yeah, there it is, guys. So please like, comment, share, subscribe. Do whatever you have to do to get this video out to people. One thing I hate is where they had to put this dang power switch. Right there. They had to put it there. You can't hit it with your knee. It should be up here. But back then, they weren't thinking about safety. Because this thing doesn't have a riving knife on it either. Because it never came out. It never was that designed to have a riving knife on it. But yeah. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, so please like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever I just said, yeah. And there you go, there it is. Bye!